Hello and welcome to my guide on how to add an audio commentary to a video recorded using the Evolve overlay. The first thing you need to do is obviously record it. Um, I've already recorded the video and this is I'm using Audacity to record the commentary. Um, for me it's easier to record it on a separate computer. I've got a netbook next to my main computer so I've plugged my mic input into there and used an audio extension cable to take the um, to get the bleh, sound to my headset. Pretty weird, silly way of saying it, but anyway. Um, so I've actually recorded the file on another computer, but for simplicity, I'm going to show it on here. So this is what my audio file looks like on Audacity. Um, do we do? Yeah, it was quite a sparse commentary. So from Audacity, you need to export it as WAV. Um, if you want to get rid of some excess bits towards like the end or something, you can cut bits out and whatnot. But I think mine's pretty good at the moment. So file export. Make sure WAV selected, and I'm going to call it Procact because I want to. Dot WAV, and I'm just saving to desktop. This is if you if it was music to put in details about the music, but it's not, so we can leave it like that. Shouldn't take too long. Cool, right, that's done. Now the video has been saved here as 15.mov. Um, you can customize where it's saved, but it's usually saved in your video folder. I've changed it to be in my Find the cabinet video folder, so that's the file here. So what I can do is I can drag that into AVI Demux or Avi Demux or whatever you want to pronounce it. I'm sure it doesn't matter. So the video is currently in. Actually, I don't know what format it actually saves it in. The container is the .mov, um, but I don't know what the format is. But that's irrelevant. We need to choose MPEG for AVC, which will make no sense to people, but it's actually H264, you know, H.264, which is basically the best codec, ava codec available today. Um, it's amazing. You'll see the difference. I mean, the original file is currently 2.61 gigabytes, and it's not even that long. Like, I didn't even do record the full, full thing, and it's, it's pretty darn big. Now, I need to replace the audio. So you go audio, main track. Currently, it's getting it from the video. Explore on WAV. Open the file. It's on the desktop. It's called project.wav, open that up, and that's already replaced it, so if I play this, then it will be playing along with that nicely. Uh, we actually want to convert the audio as well to AAC3, FAAC. Uh, we might have a fiddle with this. Um, currently it does it really nice and quickly, but it will lose a bit of quality. Um, one of the best ways of doing it is as average bitrate. And you can do it from 4,000 to 6,000-ish. It's quite a good guide if you want to put it on YouTube at really high quality. Uh, the rest of these settings are really complicated. I have no idea what any of them do. But it seems to work even them as they are. So... Yep, the rest of that's okay. The audio, 128 will be nice. But if you want your sound quality to be a bit better, um, make it a bit higher will be nicer. So maybe like, let's do 160. And that's that. So then when you go save, say video, it will save it. However, if you've got a bit at the beginning that you don't particularly want, um, like I do, of my audio, I think I've got a countdown. Do I? Um, No, I don't think I do actually. So. No, no, the audio is in sync, which is nice. Um, I recorded them separately, but I basically pressed F9 to re start my video recording at the same time as I press R on my netbook to record the audio. So they are actually in time. If not, however, you can work out the difference. You can like work out where it starts, and you can compare it to the frame, and then you can use a shift in milliseconds just to make it in the right place. I don't have to do that if you're careful. You shouldn't have to do that either. Um, if in doubt, it's better to have more video than audio, and therefore you can just shift the um, audio forward a bit. Uh, also, if you don't want the beginning bit, actually, yeah, let's just show that. If I want to start in the spawn room, I don't want that. Let's put the start of the video there. And that's by pressing the A button there. And let's end it before I die there because that was embarrassing or whatever. Yeah, let's just end it there. And as you see, it's kind of selected it in this blueness. Um, and that's basically now where the video starts and ends, which is great. So, save the video. Now, because it's from Linux, it doesn't actually put the 
a format extension on the end. Oh, I actually forgot to do that. Sorry, yeah, you want to change the format to MP4, which is actually it's only the container format. The video itself it will be the MPEG4 AVC, aka the H I can never remember H264, and the audio will be AAC. But the, the container format is MP4, same as YouTube uses, so it should be nice for YouTube. And I'm gonna call it Gert because that sounds cool. Dot MP4. Now this can take a while. Um, you can speed it up by putting the priority up to high. Depending on how long it is, it can take quite a while. So I'm gonna pause this video recording and catch up while I'm done. So that's the first pass done. And uh, now it's onto the second pass. As you can see, it was um well bef before it finished the first pass, it was only up to about 126 megabytes which is a lot lower than it was um, in .mov format, 2.61 gigs. Um, now what it's doing is it's it's got, it's averaging out so that it averaged to be about 5,000 megabits per second, I think, no, bits per second. Yeah, 5,000 bits per second, um, which is a nice amount of quality, like that's what you'd expect to do. I mean, by default it does it a lot lower than that, um, which still looks nice, and it will be even smaller. I think the video I created before was only 18 megs. Um, that was the RuneScape one uploaded, uh, RuneScape bank organization. That one did it using this process, um, but I left it at default settings and it was a bit poor quality. The colors were a bit weird, um, but it still looks nice. So, I'll let this finish. So, as you can see, it's almost finished. And we've created a file that's only 190 megabytes. Okay, and where is that saved that? Desktop, wasn't it? Here it is. And so it's great quality, and I got my commentary over the top now. Awesome.